Okay, here we are back inside Maker's Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Tap on that notification bell. Leave me a like. And absolutely, please go ahead and drop a comment in there. Uh, and then also, uh, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, right around this area here, you can go ahead and tap on that super thanks button and uh, donate some coffee to me. <laughs> Never without, trust me. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and step back i i was started on a long time ago i started on i wanted to go through all the line commands uh and uh kind of go into detail uh and all the command line options right and i kind of got uh, off on uh, all kind of other things and actually the last four or five days i've been absolutely grinding out uh, the next the mastering matrix gold and i think uh a lot of you will find this one very interesting. We're going to be tapping into all things surfaces. So be watching for that on the Academy. If you get a chance, go on uh, there. I think it will come out the second week of uh, uh, April. Uh, so uh, check that out on the Academy if you get the time. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to talk about our... Scroll down here in our uh, curves menu. We're going to talk about the cleanup commands, right? Uh, and we are going to talk about uh, the fillet, fillet curves, uh, fillet corners, uh, chamfer corners, and connect curves. Uh, and the first one we're going to talk about is connect curves. But before we get going on that, let's just uh, let you know what I have out here, right? Uh, so right now in this area here, I have two lines that are not joined together. And then I have kind of two little arcs there. And then I have a free form or polyline curve, whatever you want to call it, uh, right here that is all one curve joined together. And then I have that pretty much same curve uh, except this one is all broken into segments it's not joined together uh, and that's important to know uh, as we move forward uh, so let's go ahead and get going on this uh, go to our cleanup right and we'll just uh, do the drop down and we'll pick out uh, the connect curves and i think the connect curves is not getting a lot of uh, well it's it's kind of a very useful command it's kind of underused probably uh, but it's very uh, interesting and useful. So I think by default, uh, join is set to no uh, extend arcs by arc is what the uh, default is and extend other curves by line. Uh, I think this is the default here. So we'll start here, right? So it gives me the option to select first curve to connect. So I want to connect this curve with this one and i set it up uh, from extend arc by arc and extend other curves by line right so this is considered another curve it's just a line right and this is an arc so what it did was it extended that arc on up and it just extended that line off to the beat the intersection and then connect them together and if i had it set to join they would now be one curve right uh and we'll go back and just keep it on this for right now and so this one is an arc it'll continue that arc and this one is an arc as well so it'll continue this arc down and that arc up and where they both meet it'll make the intersection and same thing here this line will come down this line will come over you'll really be able to see it here so we'll go here to here right so it automatically recognizes our arcs and our line curves and extends them appropriately to meet that intersection part right uh, so that's uh, very cool right so uh, don't have to go back and grab that extend command all the time uh, you can just use uh, the cleanup and go to connect. <laughs> uh, also with the connect, I'll right click and this time we'll go ahead and do line to line. So I'm going to extend my arcs by a line and I'm going to extend all other curves by a line. So basically it's going to just continue this line out and this is going to be a line up. Nothing will be, this will not be continued. As you can see, it's not a curve anymore. It would connect in here. It's just going straight up and you can't really see it too well on that one but you should be able to on this one here so there so now this one's coming straight out that one's going straight down and there's our connection point and this one you'll definitely be able to see it on uh, both of them are going straight right so uh, that's another way to connect them 
if you just want to connect the items together whoops we don't want to go back we want to undo these and now i'm going to uh, right click well no i'm not i'm going to go ahead and do my cleanup and connect command one more time except this time we're going to extend uh by uh, arc and then make it smooth right so we'll go from here to here uh and there's not really much smoothness going on that's just kind of going up there's a little bit uh, going there but not much right you'll be able to see it much better here so, uh big time here actually watch what it does to this one we'll go here and we'll go here uh, and it kind of just brings them both in nice and smoothly, both at arcs, right? It doesn't continue down to line, and this one here to here, right? Okay, so it's arc and smooth. Now let's just go back one more time because this one I think you're going to find a little interesting here. And uh, now we will go right click, bring that back. We'll go arc or extend by arc and smooth. I think we did all those line and line we did line and line we'll do arc and smooth i had line and smooth so we'll do arc and smooth uh here to here here to here yeah it's doing it okay yeah, no big deal nothing different really I, did i miss any there uh we'll go line and smooth so we'll go here and here here and here okay yeah this is the kind of one i thought line and smooth so the arc is continuing out as a line so our it's coming up as a line but it's set to smooth all the codes by smooth so um the reason why it's not joining here is if i go back and click here to here it's not going to join right uh because this is the only place where you can get two smooth ones. Uh, this coming out smooth, this coming out smooth. This is the only place. So that's why it's not joining there, right? So you're gonna, if something like that happens, you'll have to come down and, and change one, just change it to arc and smooth and you should be fine. Uh, so kind of be aware of that. Uh, we'll, I'll right click, bring it back. We'll go to, uh, let's see, it was arc and smooth, yeah. I think so uh and then we'll go to this one here and this one here so kind of not really big difference there for the most part uh but if i would have set them to uh join they would all now be joined together as one right okay so that's kind of that you have a lot of options there to how to connect them now let's go to the next one here uh fill it corners right when everyone looks at fill corners you always think of ones that are joined together like right here or all these in here right and we want to fill it those uh so if we click there these are all for ones that are not joined together because you have to click on two separate curves right there and there to get your fillet right uh and you can change that amount right here change it to one hit enter uh, and then when you select the two curves it'll give you a smaller arc uh, and these here you can uh, it'll extend it on straight line to line now you can switch those uh, you know like last time to an arc or whatever but you can see that it's giving you an arc so it's not just uh, for ones that are exactly but it, you have to have two separate lines they cannot be joined together like this thing here is all joined together so if i bring that command in select this it's not going to really do anything because it's still accessing for a second curve and i can't select a second curve right uh, so uh, this one here this one here right so you can go in there and uh, set it up however i'm going to go ahead and right click this time we're going to change it to a three so we can see some major differences uh, and then i'll hit enter and then i'll select uh, this one here to this one here and now we have a much larger arc or fillet going on right they're not coming in straight right uh no kinks for the, well it's probably still a kink maybe in some areas it's hard to say we could check curvature graph but we're not going to do that right now <laughs> uh and then uh you know since these you could do the same thing to that but this one since they're joined together uh it's not the uh fillet command uh, fillet curves it's the fillet corners command that you'll need to do 
Uh, and this will take an entire group of them and do them all at one time. So if I click on that, select my curve to fill it and then hit enter and then hit enter, it will automatically go and do all those in one, right? Uh, and you can change the amount uh, to any you want. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, I'll go ahead and right click, select my curve, hit enter, come down here and we'll change it to a two and hit enter. Uh, and you can see it changed it, uh, all those fillets to a larger uh, fillet of a two, right? Okay, so there we go. And let's go back, 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 back back oh one two one too many all right so we have these over here still this one's all joined together and those are all individual let's keep going we'll go to our curves one more time and this time we'll do a chamfer right now chamfer again you'll need two uh lines so you can go here here and it'll go ahead and put that chamfer that's a two 2.1 what is it two dash one five <laughs> Uh, and go from here to here and you can actually come in here and change that chamfer to oh, let's go to one hit enter uh, and we'll just click oh I clicked it in the wrong spot let's go back out of that let's go here distance of one we'll go here here and we have this this is going as an arc because we have extend arcs by arc uh, and extend line by line and it gives us our chamfer right there right and then of course you have this one here uh that's all individual you can just right click and go through there and you can change those around if need be uh depending on what you're wanting oh i didn't think that would work there there uh and you know each one could be set at a totally different amount we'll do a 0.5 here hit enter and we'll do there to there there to there that's an inter oh because it's not as sharp there and you can just continue on and do your chamfers at different degrees if you want to input different ones and you can uh, trim them automatically yes and uh, join I have it set at no but you can change that to yes and again how you want those extended like on this one here uh, you can do it with this these two commands here the extend arc by arc or extend arc by line right uh, so I think we got all those fillet curves fillet corner chamfer and connect curves so that'll conclude this session here but hopefully it'll give you a little bit uh, better idea of what actually each one of those do does and how to set it up uh, according to your needs all right so uh, good designing and uh, hopefully I'll I'll get on here again. Apologize, it's been so long, but uh, let's keep moving forward. Uh, thanks very much, and uh, talk to you later.